An unhealthy gut can disrupt every aspect of your life, causing conditions such as fatigue, bloating, brain fog, food allergies, weight gain, and many others impacting both mental and physical well-being. Today, our guest is a doctor of pharmacy, functional medicine practitioner, and founder of an institute dedicated to revitalizing gut health. She has consulted thousands of patients and practitioners globally, developed probiotics and nutritional products, and advocates that a healthy gut is the cornerstone of overall well-being. This is the story of the gut goddess with Dr. Grace Liu. Dr. Liu, so have, great to have you on. Thank you so much for having me, Casper. It's been, it's a joy. I can't wait. Thank you. You know, so gut much. goddess, gut institute, gut everything, right? It's, it's all about the gut, but has it always been this way? Let me start with that because we actually, right before we jumped on, we're talking about how prevalent gut issues are today, but has it always been this way? Do you feel that the gut was always this guiding kind of piece and so intricate and so relevant in health overall? Oh, absolutely not. Like, I mean, I come from pharmacy. We're all like very, you know, protocol driven, recipe driven for meds, right? Medications. And then yep. when I switched, you know, it was all about when I switched to functional medicine, it was all about like, oh, food is medicine. But I quickly realized food is not enough. Mm. Like food is just the minimal basic, but food also can kill people. Yes. You know, so people with mast cell insurers, mast cells, mast cell, um, mast cell activation syndrome, you know, or mold toxicity or Lyme disease, their guts are so racked with different infections, co-infections from all kingdoms of pathogens, you know, viral parasite, which is eukaryotic. And then another eukaryote is yeast and, and fun fungal and, and bacterial, and they can't eat anything. So if mm -hmm. they ate like, let's say histamine based food, like I love fermented foods. And I think people should be able to eat foods because our ancestors ate foods. That was before refrigeration, which was really up to like, you know, 100, 150 years ago, everybody ate fermented foods. If you, if, because that was the only way to preserve our, our really, you know, good, vitamin C rich foods we needed to prevent scurvy during winters. And if they eat it, they would die. Like, so we, I made a histamine free probiotic, which is just life saving. It's SIBO friendly. It's gut safe for most people, but most people, if they have really severe gut problems, they can't even tolerate a pinch of it. And that, that's, that's sad. Yeah. Even well, colleagues I have, you know, I'm like, that is a litmus. Your gut is super fucked up. I don't need $2,000 <laughs> plus to tell you, okay, you need help. Your gut <laughs> is really messed up. And that includes a lot of carnivores. If they try our probiotics, which are standard, I mean, these are mostly from like baby poop for, you know, <laughs> for, for human life. Like this is what mom gives us. Right. And carnivores will poop blood and mucus trying our probiotic. I'm like your gut and they can't take oxalates. So the, we have five oxalate degraders in here. And mm. we miss or these after our gut starts to lose the keystone flora. These are keystone flora that every gut requires for longevity in life. If not, people get develop all kinds of issues, food allergies, nervous system problems, like mood, depression, anxiety, tremor, whatever, seizures. And as well as um, every aspect of our, our, every system in our body, fatty liver, fatty pancreas, fatty heart, heart disease, hypertension, and diabetes. And, you know, people are doing all the CGM, super whacked out. They can't eat food. Every food raises the blood sugar. Well, that, that is so immensely wrong. You know, yeah. a lot of foods will be lowering our blood sugars, but they don't have enough acidity to make starches into fiber, which is what should happen to, you know, make resistant starches from fiber, you know, from, car um, from car carbohydrates and they don't tolerate FODMAPs. Well, FODMAPs are our best prebiotics. They're the staple fuels for our keystones like this. So where, where did it all start to go wrong? Was it, was it mostly with the food supply here? Or do we also have to look beyond, because you're talking about the bacteria, you're talking about parasite, you're talking about gastro, like, you know, uh, infections in there as well. And those two kind of go together. But wh where do we start to go wrong with everything that we started to see so many people that just can't tolerate food at all? I'm, I'm a big fan of Weston A. Price. He's one of the first like yep. nutrition anthropologists. I was like a chapter leader here in my area here in uh, California. And he really had it right. Like he could see within just one generation, the narrowing of the dental palate when people switch from whole grains, soaking and fermenting whole grains and legumes to eating processed carbs, flour yeah. and, and um, margarine. So moving from natural saturated fats from tallow, be you know, beef, 
and then pork lard or um, schmaltz, like, like in Jewish tradition, schmaltz and, you know, goose, duck, chicken fat. Um, and I come, you know, I'm Asian, so we had a lot of lard. When people moved to seed oils, there was a huge damage that happened. It would wipe out all our omega-3s, which we would barely get from, you know, grass-fed, you know, uh, pasture-raised meats and fish and poultry. And then moving, you know, wiping out um, omega-3 with the, all these seed oils that are heavy, 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 and usually rancid omega-6. You're changing our inflammatory patterns. And in one generation, Western A. Price noted you know, not just narrowing of the teeth, but all the diseases of, of chronic conditions of modern America, modern living. So high blood pressure, diabetes, heart attack, strokes, mood changes, brain. I mean, I'm sure when the narrowing of the palate happened, something happened in the brain as well. Yeah. And we had never seen this in all of Homo sapiens, you know, our fossil history in, you know, a million years from Neanderthal to our current, you know, Homo sapien to have such a change in our cranial structure. Mm hmm unheard of in, in such such a small amount of time right small it's like time. so much change in the last century we kind of kind of brushed that off it's like look how technologically advanced we are look how much we've done in the last hundred but in the last hundred years it's like look how sick we've really become that's a true sign of sickness yeah when when the the whole jaw changes i mean no wonder yeah. people have so much tmj i have some friends oh my god they gotta get botox here i'm like are you fucking kidding me like that's ridiculous <laughs> Because the pain here is just so tight and they already wear right. you know, non-grinding um, tooth devices and things like everyone's stressed. Everyone's stressed. And this is how we're answering it with things that are neurotoxins to just avoid the symptoms without ever asking why. Right. right. And th right. That, that happens so much nowadays when you see just people with so many different of the gut issues, the bloating, the there's so many different ones out there that it's, it's never really like... A, too many questions about the why and you know and therefore you can't really get to a true solution of healing so if someone were out there listening to this saying i got gut issues i'm like most of the americans out there that have something wrong and something associated with that i'm an expert i still do unless i go in the middle of a jungle and do nothing for two weeks which, so. which you just did which you're I that's why you're feeling so great because <laughs> really, yeah i, I mean we all can't do that so right yeah right. <laughs> I wish we could. And I talked about how I feel more people should travel with you as well before this started. Right. But, exactly. but what can what can we do to start to understand the why? 